I spoke about lovesick in my last video, and whoo, whoo, holy fuck, okay? That video did crazy, so thank you so much for that. This milestone especially means so much to me. However, I noticed one critical flaw in that video. I spoke quite clearly about the game and some issues related to Yandere Dev. However, I never fully spoke about his actions or the severity of them, which is a big mistake in my opinion. This video will be dedicated to that, to discuss the reasons why what he's doing is messed up and why they shouldn't be accepted in any way, shape or form. So let's start with one of the DMs Yandere Dev sent to the developer of Lovesick, Dr. Apis. This DM reads, If the cost of Yandere Simulator was ending a person's life, I'd cancel development. To be honest, Yandere Dev, I don't really think you would cancel development if it meant ending someone else's life, if I'm honest. Because you're a pretty scummy, self-centered person. Throughout your whole history online, you've been very self-centered and ignored basically every piece of criticism. However, they probably wouldn't even be able to send you this message because you'd ban them before they could. But back onto this threat. This is completely out of line. No matter how you feel, you don't firstly blame your low points on other people, because nobody else is truly responsible for your mental health. And blaming like that is low as is. However, even lower than that is doing it over something so petty. He's doing a better job than you, so you say you'll take your own life if he doesn't quit. Even further than that, threatening suicide to somebody to force them to quit, suicide baiting them into quitting and sacrificing hard work, is extremely low. It's one of the most disgusting actions I think you could do. I think that it really shows how bad Yandere Dev is and why you shouldn't support him. When it comes to doing shit like this, you don't mess around for your own selfish game. And anyone that supports Yandere Dev when his actions are so out of line like this really shouldn't be supporting him. Why support someone making the effort to ruin other people's lives? Yandere Dev needs real help or it's never going to get better. Another issue people are seeing is Yandere Dev still hasn't released Osana, although her release was supposed to be six years ago. Yandere Dev is doing this as far as I'm aware because he can delay the the time before the Kickstarter where he actually has to start working and keep making as much Patreon money as possible. And further on this is him scamming Tiny Builder $31,000 and using the excuse that they did nothing but harm his game in their support and owe him $31,000 and if they didn't agree to let him keep it he would blast them in a video. This is scummy and shocking. People that do this are pretty messed up. Yandere Dev deserves to learn his lesson, and Lovesick is the final straw for Yandere Dev. This game is doing better in less than two weeks, it's purely coded by one developer and his friend Nocturnal, it's an interesting project, it's got custom designs, animations, and isn't ran by an absolute twat. It looks good, and shows how little work Yandere Dev was actually putting into Yandere Simulator. Oh, when it bangs me about 9,000 views in 48 hours, so yeah, I, I love this game. <laughs> Lovesick is on track to release a demo by 2021 at this rate, according to its developer himself. So we'll see how it turns out, depending on how it does, this could go amazing, although it could go through the floor as a failure, but we'll see later on, and if it does succeed we only gain, but if it fails we lose nothing, as Yandere Simulator isn't ever getting released anyway, let's be honest. So there's no point supporting Yandere Dev, we've seen pretty clearly that he has no fucking idea what he's doing, and so who cares? So where did it all go wrong for Yandere Dev? In my opinion, it went wrong before he even started developing the game. His old account, either Zephorn, was being used for some pretty dodgy stuff, talking about murdering his parents, and so much more. Alongside that, another one of the bigger issues is the fact that the game has taken six years. If he could actually develop the game, it wouldn't have gone wrong like this, and he would still be supported pretty universally. However, his clear lack of effort, consistent lies, disrespect to fans, stolen art, and so much more, pretty much fucked him over completely and wholly. But further than that, one of the bigger issues is the fact that Yandere Simulator is based in a high school, and Yandere Chan is canonically 17 even though there is a little notice in the intro basically saying, ignore the fact that they're 17 so I can keep looting them, saying that they're 18 despite whatever I said in the story, which is a cheap way of saying he wants to get away with producing cartoon porn of a 17 year old. Oh, and he did. <laughs> From body pillows to literal porn games where you can, you can see everything, let's just say, fully uncensored and in HD, and endorsed by Yandere Dev, it's all over the shop, and I think these three things together are the trifecta of the Yandere Dev fall. That's a tongue twister. Onto a different topic, however. If you haven't noticed, hashtag RIP Yandere Dev was trending in the US the other day. Really shows how little faith is going into Yandere Dev at this point, and also shows how big Lovesick will be. However, people have had doubts about the Lovesick Dev, and a few not-so-nice screenshots have been made public about him. However, we need to keep in mind everyone makes mistakes, and they are nowhere near on the level of a yarn dev mistake or old message, so I believe they can be forgiven. I also want to talk about Watashi no Mono, the developer of which recently quit. This was because of personal issues, however, as it is, the developer was already on a break, and it was unlikely we would have seen the game release anyways. 
but the developer's statement was as follows. Hello everyone, I'm sure you're all anticipating whether or not I'll be continuing the project. Today I have made a decision, but before that I'd like to explain what Watashi no Mono originally was and where it went wrong. Watashi no Mono was originally a fun project that I was going to do, but the game would be like Yandere Simulator, except the rivals in me and my friends' characters rather than my own designs. It was never supposed to become a complicated game at all, just something that would be enjoyable for my friends and I. I only uploaded the first progress video to show off to my friends. I was a small YouTuber and didn't expect anyone to catch on to the project. It got more and more exciting to work on something that many people enjoy, however not all the attention was positive, especially because of the Yandere Simulator drama going around. People started putting Watashi no Mono on a pedestal above Yandere Simulator, however that was never the case at all to begin with. It was just a simple project and I never had any real programming experience before it. However, Watashi no Mono was not a fake game, but a genuine attempt at one. Over time, the expectations got higher and higher because of the attention coming from people who didn't like Yandere Simulator, rather than people who enjoyed the project by itself. Eventually, I lost interest in the Yandere genre entirely. There's a lot of gameplay flaws executed. I'd like to make my own games with concepts that I enjoy, and games that people can appreciate without needing to hate on another game. Competition is fine, but this got out of hand. I'm sure a lot of people have been anticipating the return of Watashi no Mono, but I am no longer interested in staying in the Yandere Simulator community, and I have no plans on returning. This was not an easy decision, but I'm leaving the project and I hope you can all respect my decision. I'm very happy that I've gotten to this point and this amount of support, and I'd like to thank every single person who volunteered for the game or decided to support the project financially. Thank you for taking an interest in Matashi no Mono. Oh, and I also kind of left out a few questions from the interview, so I'll do them here quickly. What type of game dev qualifications do you have? Well, this is my second project. I can't say the first because it's put on hold until after Lovesick is finished. What do you think of the fan art people are doing for you? I love it. I love all of the support. You don't plan to ban people for asking questions, right? Like, um, <clears throat> a certain someone. I won't. That would be rude. And I, I have a few more questions, but I think I'm going to save them for now. <laughs> uh, before I end this video, I'd like to note, Yandere Dev has responded to a lot of this stuff lying about basically all of it, claiming that Lovestick is a clone game of stolen code and assets, while also completely silencing anyone even mentioning the name Lovestick in his server. He also said that he never said a lot of the DMs and they were fabricated even though you can't actually fake DMs on Discord anymore. Yondo Dev is lying and grasping at any straw to save face. It's not working though. Anyway, that's it for this video, and again, thanks to Azure for being the best guy in the world and donating to me every month on Patreon, and also providing me 8 whole months of Nitro. Actually, little update this, while I was writing the script, he actually dropped another one, so I'm at, I'm at 9 now. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> since making that previous edit, I now have 12 months of Nitro, so again, thank you Azure. <laughs> he gives away Nitro like every day in my Discord server as well, so if you join, you can grab yourself one or two. And with that, please subscribe, follow my new Twitter, please. I'm trying to hit 100 followers. If I don't hit 100 followers, you know, my life is invalidated. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Okay, so I realized that some of you may have realized by now that this video isn't, isn't over yet. So, I wanted to make a more personal, non-scripted bit for the end of this video, just to say to Yandere Dev, Yandere Dev, I don't hate you, okay? I don't dislike Yandere Simulator. Uh, I'm just giving you criticism because I want you to improve and become a better person. I in no way want to ruin your career or damage your popularity or send hate towards you. That is in no way my goal, okay? I totally believe in you being able to release Yandere Simulator. My only worry is other people being able to release their game before you. And I get that, obviously, because of my YouTube persona, I may come across as harsh or a bully towards you. I want to make it clear, I in no way hate you or believe that your game should be invalidated right now. Because you can still make your Android Simulator. As long as you keep making consistent updates, get Osana out, remove some of the more you know, gross features, and stop making porn game collabs, I believe you still have a chance at this. As long as you beat the lovesick developer, and you make good progress, you can still make your game do well, and you can still achieve something with this. So, all I really want to say is just please don't feel disheartened by this. Don't commit suicide or anything serious like that, and please don't threaten the developers or try, or try and discourage their work either, okay? Because they are also working very hard to release their projects. So please, just 
understand no one hates you per se except some some people you know but they're toxic and you should ignore them there's always a toxic part of every community please just focus on your game and the positive side and treat everyone else making games similar to you and similar as competition fun competition and please just work your hardest to keep releasing your Andre Simulator. I hope that you understand that I don't hate you or I'm tr not trying to ruin your career in any way. Thank you and goodbye. Says she wanna rock with a nigga like me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with a nigga like me. We can catch a fly. Says she wanna rock with a nigga like me.